بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اني اسالك علم نافع رزق طيب وعمل متقبل ما الله سبحانه وتعالى bless us with علم نافع with beneficial knowledge and رزق طيب and 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 provisions and and wealth that's beneficial and righteous deeds that please him subhanahu wa ta'ala it's important to make supplication in general a dua hu ibadah as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said supplication is worship and dua for an increase in knowledge is very very important and this is from the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam al hafiz ibn haj al askanani rahimahullah ta'ala said regarding the statement the saying of allah azza wa jal وقول ربي زدني علما where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says oh my lord increase me in knowledge as this is a supplication in the Quran this is clear proof of the excellence of knowledge this is because Allah ta'ala did not order the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with request for an increase in anything except for an increase in knowledge Um Salama radiyallahu ta'ala anha said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say in the supplication in the morning prayer Allahumma inni as'alaka ilman nafi'ah wa rizqan tayyibah wa amalan muttaqabbilan O Allah, indeed I ask you for beneficial knowledge and good halal provision and actions which are accepted. From Anas bin Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said that he heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam supplicating allahumma afani mimma uh, mimma alamtani wa allamni ma yanfa'ni wa razaqni ilman tanfa'ni bi the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was heard by anas ibn malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu making this dua and he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said o oh allah benefit me with that you have taught me and teach me that which will benefit me and grant me knowledge which will benefit me allah ta'ala says fi kitabi al-karim rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab an-nar allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says o oh our lord give us good in this dunya and good in the hereafter and save us from the punishment of the fire al hasan said al hasana meaning good in the dunya is knowledge and worship and in the hereafter it is paradise sufyan said al hasana or good in the dunya is knowledge and good provision and in the hereafter it is paradise abu bakr muhammad ibn jafar rahimahullah ta'ala said i heard ibn khu uh, Ibn Khuzayma, while he was asked, where did you get this knowledge from? He answered, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, ma zamzam lima sharib lahu. Zamzam, water, is that, is what it is drank for. So when I would drink zamzam water, I would ask Allah for beneficial knowledge. Al-Hakam said, I drank zamzam water and i asked allah that he grant me the ability to compile works of books in a good way al-hafiz ibn hajar rahimahullah ta'ala said once i drank zamzam and i supplicated to allah at that time i was at the beginning of studying hadith i asked allah to grant me the status of dhahabi meaning imam dhahabi in memorizing hadith 20 years later i went to perform hajj and i found myself the ability to surpass that rank so I asked Allah for a higher rank than before, and I hope that Allah grants me this rank. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahim Allah ta'ala said, The reality of the issue is that a slave of Allah is in dire need of asking someone for knowledge and guidance, seeking and asking. Then he remembers Allah and of his dire need of Allah. Then Allah guides and shows him. Just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ibadi, kullukum bal illa ma hadaytu hadaytuhu fashhaduni fashhaduni ahdukum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the hadith uh, qudsi o oh my worship 
O oh, my worshippers, all of you are astray except the one whom I have guided. So seek guidance from me, and I will guide you. And just as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to say, the supplication. Allahumma Rabb Jibrail wa Mikail wa Israfil, Fatir Samawati wal Ard, Alam al Ghaybi wa Shahada, Anta Tahkum Baina Ibadika, Fima Kanu Fihi Yachtalifun, Ahdini Ahdini Lima Achtalif Fihi Min al Haq, Bidnika. إِنَّكَ تَهْدِي مَنْ تَشَاءَ إِلَى صُرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمٍ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to supplicate this beautiful dua. He said, O oh Allah, Lord of Jib Jibra'il wa Mikail wa Israfil, You are the originator of the heavens and the earth, the one who has all the knowledge of the unseen and what is visible. You judge between your worshippers in what they differ. Guide me to the truth by your permission and what they differ. Indeed, you are the one who guides whom you want to the straight path. And we ask Allah, the Almighty, the Lord of Jibra'il, wa Mikail, wa Israfil, the originator of the heavens and earth, the one who has all the knowledge of the seen and, and the unseen, that he judges between us in where we differ and guides us to the truth by his permission. And indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who guides, and he guides to the straight path, and we ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the straight path. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.